Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to enable the new features and changes that Microsoft is rolling out as part of the October 2025 update for Windows 11 version 24H2, but this also should apply to version 25H2. The company plans to release the patch Tuesday update on October 14, 2025, and this usually happens after 1 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to know more about the features coming in this release, check the video description to find the link with all the details about this particular release. First, you want to make sure that you actually have the October 2025 update installed on your computer, and that is the easiest way to try to enable the new features. And to do this, open Start and look for Settings, then go to Windows Update, and then just click the Check for Updates button. You might also want to turn on this feature. Now, after the update is ready on your computer, you might need to restart, and then you can check that the update has been installed properly by going to the Update History page. And at the time of this recording, the update is known as the KV5065789. This number may or may not change when the final release of the patch to the update becomes available to everyone. Usually as we get closer to the final release, the KV number stays the same. However, the build number might change slightly to a higher number. Now, it is not always the case, but sometimes new features and changes require components that need to be updated through the Microsoft Store. So you also want to check for updates from the Microsoft Store. You can go to the Downloads page and from here just click on the Check for Updates button. Now if after you install the patch to the update on your computer, in this case the one for October 2025, and you don't see any of the new changes, you can force enable the new features using the Vive tool. And you can download the tool from this GitHub page and then you just need to download the package that corresponds to the platform of your computer. In this case, I'm going to download the Intel and AMD. So I'm going to save this. Just open the location where we save the file. We're going to select it and then we're going to extract it. Choose the path where you want to extract the files and click the extract button. Now we just need to copy the path by right clicking and selecting the copy option. Now we're going to open the terminal. We're going to run as administrator. Then we're going to use the CD command. And then I'm going to use quotation. And then I'm just going to do a control V to paste the path. And the only reason why I'm using quotations, that's because there is a space right here on the path. And now we're just going to type this command with this code that will allow us to enable all the new features for the October 2025 update. And that's it. And after you restart the computer, you should be able to see all the new changes. Now, there are two important details that you need to know. First, when Microsoft releases a new update, it doesn't mean that after updating your computer, you will see all the new changes. This is because the company enables new features gradually. So it might take some time until you see all the intended changes for a particular update. And second, even though you can use the Vite tool to force enable the new improvements on your computer, even then some features might be limited to a specific hardware and running the command, that's a guarantee that you will enable all the features for a particular update. And that's it. That is how you enable the new features for the October 2025 update on your computer. Leave your comments, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.